we follow a perfect storm, literally, in western Kansas, returning to the Governor's Ringneck Classic near Goodland. Good friends gather for fundraising and community service and to experience the growing pheasant numbers in the Sunflower State. I'm Scott Linden, and today is the National Shooting Sports Foundation presents Wing Shooting USA. We tromp through a variety of habitat types after a devastating blizzard, tornado, and earthquake. The skies have cleared, so we'll hit CRP and cut crops, prairie grass, and sunflower fields in hopes of finding a few birds. Come on along. The Kansas Governor's Ringneck Classic is as much about the people who open their hearts to visiting hunters as it is about a place, in this case, Goodland. This was never more true than last season when the week prior to our gathering, the area was pummeled by Mother Nature with a trifecta of blizzard, tornado, and earthquake. Western Kansans mustered their strength and spirit to welcome hundreds of us to this homecoming of sorts. It's a wonder there's any cover standing, let alone left to hunt. We'll cover a grand slam of habitat types in search of wild pheasants that didn't get blown into the next county. This story may turn out to be about the community, land, and spirit instead of birds. I hope we can do justice to all of them. <laughs> Our little group had a guest for the first push, Governor Sam Brownback. He's working hard to turn Kansas into a pheasant hunting destination, and we're glad to help. Guiding us is Matt Shields, whose family owns the land we'll be walking today. First up, CRP adjacent to Cut Wheat. We don't have mountains, we don't have an ocean front, <laughs> but we've got this, and we're really good at it. And that's Beyond the governor and I, our group is long on optimism and short on experience. On this first push, we'll cover safety, strategy, and get caught up on the past year in politics. And because we have no dogs, we have to still be mindful of the fact we want to shoot only birds that are going up, nothing on the ground, and nothing low. Let's spread out about 15 yards apart. So kind of keep with me. Well, all right, well, let's execute the second half of the plan. Right on. All right, so all right, spread um, out. Same, same okay. drill across this way. So come on down. Yeah, this has got the most growth to it. Yeah, we do obviously do a lot of work in South Dakota as well. And they're losing so much CRP. Well, we are too. Yeah, a lot of it's coming the... out. There. What's the limit on button bucks? <laughs> All right. Keep on top of it, Mark. This might be your time. Slow down there, son. Keep the line. Help with the hand anyway. Yeah. Whew. All right, I feel better now. <laughs> yeah, we saw a bird. <laughs> well, even the governor can't just make birds appear on command, but we tried. We swapped the governor for my wire hair Manny in the next push of crop stubble and grass coming up on Wing Shooting USA. Scott Linden's Wing Shooting USA is brought to you by Cabela's Dog Gear. It's in your nature. Happy Jack's DuraSpot, the latest technology in flea and tick control. My book, What the Dogs Taught Me, available everywhere books are sold. And Fioki, quality ammunition since 1876. Well, the weather is now cooperating with us in western Kansas. It didn't until then. We had an earthquake, we had a blizzard, and then we had lots of snow. But we're carrying on, and with luck, we'll actually find some birds coming up soon. In the meanwhile, here we are at Ruggs Ranch, our home place, and here comes Gene Barnhart, the wing shooting uh, program manager here at Ruggs. He's getting some of the dogs a little bit of exercise. I'm gonna go help and shoot a few birds if I can very soon with this SKB 28 gauge. One of the prizes in our Take Your Friend Hunting Sweepstakes. Another prize, the 20 gauge to go along with it. You can give to one of your friends if you win. And a trip to Sportsman's Paradise in Logan, Utah. We'll be fishing and hunting on that trip. 
you enter to win at wingshootingusa.org. Now let's get back to the governor's hunt in western Kansas. Enjoy the show. Time for the Upland Checklist, brought to you by Cabela's, your source for dog gear. Wind met wild birds at long distance and, oh, it was cold too. I give my dog extra fat in his diet for warmth and energy. Butter is simple and probably already in your kitchen box. A Cabela's 8-in-1 Upland coat let me layer as needed. Happy Jack's Vitatabs also ensure stressed dogs get all their nutrients. Open Country lent itself to Fiocchi Golden Pheasant in size 5. Now back to Western Kansas pheasant hunting. The governor's off to another group, but our little team is warmed up now. Logger Julie Golub is a competitive target shooter. Barbara Baird of Women's Outdoor News and Anthony Pace of Honored American Veterans of Field, let's go, have a bit more experience. So what's, what's your expectation here, Barb? <laughs> uh, well, I always like to tag out. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Barb and Julie also blog at Women's Outdoor News, so watch for video of our hunt there. This cut corn leads to narrow swales of low-growing grasses. Birds could be feeding nearby if they'd been sheltering during the brunt of the storm. So what's your group primarily trying to accomplish, Barb? We feature women who hunt, shoot, fish, and generally enjoy outdoor adventures such as kayaking, ice climbing, <laughs> <laughs> jumping off bridges. Yeah, no, nothing extreme. Huh? <laughs> so we have really active social media yeah. so that people Women can talk to us, they can ask us questions, they can download how to find out more about hunting or... What is the biggest issue that distinguishes female sports people from males? For women it's a very social thing. Ha -ha. You know, the networking part of it as well as just the hunt. Of course they want to include everybody in the world if they love it. <laughs> their children, their, their girlfriends, their moms. To a lot of people, that's just counter to the male at, the male vision of sporting event outdoors. Mm -hmm. I want to go sit in a tree stand all by myself all day. I know, but you guys are taking your daughters and yeah. your girlfriends and your wives, so that's great. So, and I think we're starting to see the numbers increase from 11% to 19% of hunters, mainly because of that. Yeah, I believe Because of you guys. Okay, so we're, we are the heroes. Yes. All right. Yeah, I'm not bashing boys. I have three of them. <laughs> You guys got bullets in? <laughs> That's a point right there. One on each side, safety first. We're gonna go in, I'm gonna walk right to the dog. You walk five yards on each side. You ready? Yeah, we're ready. Barrels up. Nothing may come out of here, but something might. Old scent. All right, we can unload. All right. Well, good, you did great. That was a perfect drill. <laughs> Maybe the birds really did blow away in the blizzard. On to the next field. We're deep in grasses and weeds on this patch. It's CRP times two. Manny, way! Well, volunteer Mark Koenig keeps us from getting lost out here. Good blocking, Anthony. <laughs> Where's the birdie, man? You're the best, hunt him up. Oh, nice. Two in the pipe, point him up. You ready? Let's walk in on it. You go to his right. Nada. All right. Good dog. Western Kansas is the rising star of pheasant hunting. Hundreds of thousands of acres of public and private ground open to hunters, warmer late season weather, and a real chance at non-resident big game tags once you limit out on ringnecks. They all put Western Kansas on my short list every year. Originally from Scotland, legend had it the foundation stock for this retriever included a circus troop of Russian sheepdogs. Lord Marjorie Banks breeding records from 1835 to 1890 dispelled that myth. 
tweet the breed name at Wing Shooting USA and you might win a box of Happy Jack dog care products. So, how'd you get into this business? I was a newspaper editor at a small town newspaper and I had a column about getting, just getting out and seeing things in Missouri and people would invite me to go fishing and hunting. And yeah. It was a great way to get outside with our boys and they thought I was really super cool. Oh. And now they still come home with their children yeah. to hunt with us. Nice. That's what I always tell my friends. Hunt with your kids because they'll always come home at Thanksgiving and hunt with you for deer. <laughs> I learn something every time I come to Kansas. <laughs> hey, that's a birdie dog. Stand by. <laughs> Tune the pipe, put the barrels up. That's a point, Barb. Let's get up close to him. Flank him to the right a little bit if you can. Bird will probably get up wild. There it goes. Meadowlark. <laughs> Do not shoot the state bird. Well, that was the best ground track on a western meadowlark I've ever seen. All right. Nice try. Let's get back down into the deep stuff. Find me another one. Let's try and catch up with him a little bit better. And he's on point there. Yep. Oh. Rocked it, too. That bird's going to die. Batch! Mark that bird. Way! May as well hunt our way to that downed bird. He dropped at the far end of this draw. That's a point. Oh boy. <laughs> Am I embarrassed? I needed a backer on that one. You guessed right. I whiffed. At least he left a souvenir. That's all I get out of this one. Manny, you did your job. You did a great job. Your owner didn't. Let's try it again. All right. Still heading toward that shot bird. You're the best. Well, you know, the chestnut used to be, if a kid doesn't go hunting by the time they're 11 years old, they aren't going to. Yeah. Even NSSF's data, I think, show that the most likely person to take a kid hunting is their father. But never in there have they figured out, okay, what if the kid's not a boy? <laughs> They've never asked that question. That's true. They also did a study a few years ago and it reported that children who hunt with their moms are more likely to become lifelong hunters than those who just hunt with their dad. Is that so? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Julie, his tail's going like this. It's not like this that's yet. A, that's more than a passing interest. But he's all over the map, so don't know what it is. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yes. Yes, I did. That was a great shot, too. Hey, Manny. 100 yards out. Here. That's better than nothing. Thanks. You're a good boy. Yep. Nice long retrieve, Manny. <laughs> good boy. Find another one for Barb. <laughs> Let me see. Right there. Goat head. Them are wicked. They'll puncture your mountain bike tire. All right. They get trigger shy after one of those too. Come on. Apparently, CRP is not where the birds want to be today. Next stop, an old homestead on Wing Shooting USA. Scott Linden's Wing Shooting USA is brought to you by the National Shooting Sports Foundation. Win a hunt with us at wingshootingusa.org. Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism. With a long season, there's no place like Kansas for hunting. Yeti, built for the wild. And SKB, official shotguns of Wing Shooting USA. Hope you're enjoying this show from Western Kansas. 
Had a little weather before we got there. We had a few, oh, there we go. That's what we want. Had a few interesting earthquakes among other things. But we're coping with it and hopefully we'll find some more birds. In the meantime, here at Ruggs Ranch, we're training dogs. We got a cocker coming in just a minute. This is how they do it here at Ruggs. I hope you're interested enough to visit them at huntrugs.com. If you'd like to come hunting with us, our next trip on the Take Your Friend Hunting Sweepstakes is to Sportsman's Paradise in Logan, Utah. <laughs> it wasn't quite as hard a flyer as we thought, but it was a good job by the cocker and the two pointers, and that's all that matters. Again, join us at Sportsman's Paradise to enter to win. Go to wingshootingusa.org. While you're there, of course, you can also ask me a question about bird hunting and bird dogs, just like Gordon Bickers did. Hey, I can't resist this. Take a look at that point right there. Ooh, nice. Gordon asks, I read your book about dogs and was surprised by all the things we eat that can be harmful to dogs. I think it would be great if you would review these for everyone who hasn't read the book yet. Glad to do it. Here's the quick short list. Of course, you can get all of the list at my website, scottlindenoutdoors.com. Grapes and raisins, onions, garlic, leeks, even on your hamburger, people. Avocado, all kinds of booze, coffee, tea, anything with caffeine. Salt and salty foods and yeast dough. That's just the short list. Be careful what you put in your dog's mouth and you'll have a healthy, happy dog for many years to come. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks for watching. We're ready. As soon as I put him down, we're hunting. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean it that way, Manny. I'm hoping that for Julie and Anthony, maybe this old place will pay off. Hunt him up. It works in those Terry Redland paintings. Jeff Schroeder went back to basics. Wrap and bake and magnify smokiness by cooking over a wood fire. Fundamentals are good. Game, fire, friendship. No Get the mouth. full recipe, tips and advice at Facebook and take it from field to feast. <laughs> All right then, we'll join forces and drive an unharvested sunflower field along with another team. Matt's brother, Brett Shields, will captain this mob, including an unspecified number of Labradors. The, the, the key to this kind of a hunt is try and keep everybody in one even row. So check left and right and catch up or slow down, depending on where they are. <laughs> well, I got to shoot. So, Julie, is that the first pheasant you ever shot at? Yes, it was. First miss. Okay, then it's good you missed. We don't want to spoil you. Oh. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, yeah. Going down, mark it. <laughs> Julie, high five. <laughs> what went through your mind when you shot your first bird? <laughs> What's it like to shoot your first pheasant? It, it happens so fast, and you know, you think you're ready for it, and you, you know, what, no matter what you've hunted before, it's just so fast, and you're like, oh, and you're looking, and here, everything has been so unique. Every scenario yep. has been completely different. Here we're walking through sunflowers. Before we were walking through tall grass. Then we, you know, forded the giant grass and everything's different. That's the joy of it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so welcome to the good. fraternity. Thank you. <laughs> or is it a sorority? Can we make it a sorority and oh, a fraternity? Okay. <laughs> cool. Yes, I'm stoked. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Governor. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Yay, team. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, Sque at least squeeze off some of the rudders, yeah. That's the way. Got it, Brett, he's right here. Good dog. I got it. Good dog. 
Oh, there you go! If that bird doesn't go down, I'm a monkey's uncle. Still flying. There's another one. There's another one. Richard. Yay! Yeah. That was Brett. Just to flying out. Nice. Oh Nice. Oh. Barb! Hand! 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 Bang! Bang! Christian! Get away! Nice shot! We earned our birds today. They're everywhere. <laughs> exploring every type of habitat Kansas could offer. We paid the price in boot leather. No surprise considering the beating the state took in the days leading wow. up to the governor's ringneck classic. Nietzsche said, what does not destroy me makes me strong. He could have been referring to the birds in Kansas after a mega blizzard, or the hunters and dogs who gathered to pursue them. Both mustered creativity and persistence, and except for a few ringnecks, lived to tell about it. It was only fitting that sunflowers were the saving grace here in the sunflower state. Thank you to the community of Goodland, our guides, landowners, Jim Millencipher, and everyone else at the Governor's Ringneck Classic. Let's talk at my Facebook page and blog. I'm Scott Linden. Thanks for watching.